actually go straight into game surely to have a look at the in game of this map and you guys are going to go basically over some of the you know the Okay, for our skins, agora a gente vai ver um pouquinho do mapa. Yeah, so um as you can see the base is completely redone and uh we have some some new features as well as new characters. Uh first of all, the base layout is very different. You'll see we have these smaller pillars which are served by fountains as opposed to some big walls on the inner side. Um we also have the new titans which um they're that's encased a, a rock. In, they're encased in crystal. Oh. Uh at the beginning of the game. This is uh, just part of our initiative to add more gameplay f um, feedback and information so the Titans are not hittable yet, and now we're going to make it clear that that's the case. Um, when you destroy Phoenixes, they'll break out of those. Okay, so they actually break out after... Mm -hmm. I was going to say, we're just going to have a rock in the base that you hit. Is that what's going to happen? Yeah, so we base these on uh, lore, too. So this is uh, based off of the original Greek Titans, and so is the enemy Titan. Yeah, so w one thing that we did with the base was just we wanted things to be really clear on what, like, the corners are and stuff, and sure. then, like... Mostrando aí os titãs e os lados, né? players to feel like they can attack the Titan without having to take out the Phoenix as first. So, gotcha. Um, and then, you know, we have a lot of things on the on the floor that also to help, uh, you know, for gameplay reasons, like you know, the energy oh, and stuff. Um, and we just tried to make everything really, really clear on, you know, where edges are and stuff. So when, when there's a big team fights going on, you'll you'll know where everything is. Also, how would you describe kind of the new Olympus like style and feel? You know, we really wanted to get like a pristine marble look going on. I think before it looked a little too much like uh, stone and stuff. So this is, I mean, this is Olympus we're talking about. So we wanted to make a, you know, a pristine. We had uh, some colors that we wanted to use with basically, you know, marble with gold accents and stuff and understand that this is like, you know, you're really entering into the enemy base from the jungle and stuff. So we wanted to make this area very particular. Well, speaking of the jungle, let's actually head over to the jungle now towards the speed buff area. Because uh, that's the next, the first thing you're going to see going into the jungle, I guess, AJ, with the new changes. Yeah, so um, we've made a lot of changes to the jungle as we change the map and all the paths and all the size and shapes of things. But one very specific change is that we've relocated the speed buff to be further back, closer to your base. This is to make this one harder to invade. Okay. Um, speed buff generally has one of the biggest potential snowballing factors if it gets invaded. And we really want junglers... Um, Throughout season five, we're really trying to empower. É, tá legalzinho o jogo, jungle. não tá? Um, so this não. is one way we did that, which is bring them back a little further in the map, and we're also going to see their speed buff spawn a little earlier. So we're going to see the speed buff spawn first, and then the mid lane minions clash, and then the rest of the jungle spawning after that. Gotcha. So it's it's not going to be possible, I guess, for everyone to group at the speed at the start of the game and then get to lane seven. I you right? could start everyone there, but then you will not make it to your lane in time. Definitely sure. not, okay. and that will put you way behind. And the with the map being much wider and the spawn the spawn respawn timers for all the jungle being faster it's a lot harder to clean sweep the whole jungle and keep it clean you really need to spread out tá bem maior, que é legal. specifically if you try to roam as a full group you're gonna have a lot harder time with that christina so you just chose centaurs here as well by the way we did yeah so when we first were talking about doing the different camps and stuff uh we tried to associate which uh which creatures would go with which colors and stuff and so we decided to do centaurs for the speed camp just because they got you know four hooves and they're full probably legs. pretty yeah. pretty quick um, and so when we were doing, trying to figure out what kind of their camp was going to be, because we wanted each camp to be individual, uh, we kind of figured that they would be like raiders or, of some sort, you okay. know, like uh, pillaging and looting uh, types. And so we put these big banners, like they took over this little area, and you could see a kind of a ransacked uh, Greek building in the back. Um, and then we wanted to have these banners that we could be seen from different lanes. Um, so the, the main one that's on the, on the big building. Three hours mostrando o mesmo buff. É porque eles estão comentando algumas coisas, alguns aspectos sobre o buff ali. Ah, como eu não tenho domínio, né? You can tell where that camp is. Awesome. And they're yellow. Fica complicado de passar para vocês as informações precisas. They are not ranged anymore. Oh! You are now going to be able to pull them and group them up nicely. We, we think the range was interesting, but it caused some frustration and some weird kind of like issues when you're trying to tank them around the wall. So now they are melee and they will chase you like a normal melee. Is all the jungle camps melee based? They are now, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so for on the art side for this one, uh, we just thought they were they were very magical looking and stuff. So we went with the mana camp being this kind of uh, reservoir or like this uh, oasis and stuff. So to just basically associated with the blue camp, and then we have it overgrown with a lot of foliage and stuff. And uh, the big tree in the middle is kind of our big focal point where 
um, we try to open it up so that also whenever you're in different lanes and at a distance you can see this big uh, this big really old tree that's uh, got magical runes and stuff on it to help associate with the uh, satyrs. Well, from there we can go into the solo lane as well then because that's where we're up to next. And mm -hmm. Solo lane, AJ, still solo lane? Yeah, solo lane, you know, uh, we, we made tweaks all across the map. Um, the jungle yeah, lane. definitely got Gostaram more of it. Solo, the como solo está? lane has the, um, the, the symmetry is probably the most important thing on solo lanes, and this is actually reflected in all lanes. So previously, order side it's versus chaos side have solo. slightly different jungle pathing. Those archers look amazing. Uh, that's, yeah, all minions are remodeled, so we got new archers. Um, Come on to the evil ones. I yeah, the evil the ones are really cool. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're cool. My, they're my favorite. Wow, they look good. Tá legal, so, tá? Solo lane still has Os the shortest lane as well, like oh, it has yes, been previously. Indeed. Um, and we'll also see here is our first bom look at the Rift, vão ser bem which is uh, kind of our thematic né? as well as gameplay uh, new feature to the map. We have this going across the legal. whole map. This is going to better distinguish the two sides from each other, sure. as well as it uh, ties a little bit into the lore of how the map got the way that it is, with Hades rising his underworld up with his newfound powers since so many people are dying from Ragnarok. Um, and then we also have this translate all the way through the jungle, so you get a little bit more of an extra warning when you're walking towards enemy territory. You know, you know where the danger zone is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so, like, when we first were conceiving this, we were like, okay, man, we need something that just, like, really helps decide, like, splits each side of the map. And so we thought of this huge, like, chasm and basically, you know, Tartarus rising and stuff. And we, and we really needed to convey that there was uh, this really big shift in both sides and stuff. And so we conveyed that with the, with the rift in the middle and on the outside by having this huge chasm that just separates you know, this nice foresty uh, Greek place that's kind of been destroyed and then all these like sharp edged um, land masses uh, for uh, Tartarus. Eu espero que o mapa realmente seja oh, mais leve do que o mapa atual, porque ele me parece ser um mapa bem mais detalhado, né? Se você for olhar. Mas as texturas parecem ser mais mais leves do que a do mapa atual. Vamos ver se realmente vai funcionar essa otimização do jogo. Me preocupa. Tem mais detalhes do que o mapa atual, porém as texturas parecem ser mais leves. Eles mudaram para esse estilo further. mais cartunizado. Um, e você também tem algumas coisas muito legais aqui, como esse rock que nós passamos por aqui. Isso dá você uma boa split na sua entrada para a sua lane e isso faz muito mais difícil para ward. Sim, dá aos junglers algum real poder, porque... They, you mais leve you try to put não vai ser, eles, eles sides, prometeram que ia ser mais leve. And if you try to give yourself more warning, it's always possible eles to jump around your cara. ward. Um, so we então, we're trying to make things overall a little bit more risky, a little bit more um, decision making, going into just rotating and killing these camps. We still expect people in lanes to rotate to like the nearest jungle, even if you're not a jungler. Um, but we wanted to add a little bit more. Combats vai adorar essa jungle like like That actually looks like a harpy nest now than yeah. what it previously did. Right. Yeah, it was weird. Actually, if peop, uh, players, older players will remember that the old harpy camps also had nests yeah. and stuff with a little bit of bird eggs, but I don't think it was emphasized all that much. Um, because we added more islands to the jungles and stuff and a little bit more visual blocking, we needed to make sure that players were, like, you know, clarity that what camps are what. Mm -hmm. um, and so I don't know, you know, if you notice, like, for these camps, we added all these candles or nowhere, nowhere placed nowhere else. There's not a lot of grass, and it's very rock. Cliff, uh, assim, não uh, these, uh, these and, uh, nesse estilo so de jogo que você falava, kind of identity, relação ao que eu, uh, você está falando em relação, em relação graficamente o jogo, né, ser um pouco mais animado, like rocks, so aí isso vai atrair mais jogadores com well, certeza, cara. Then, that, o jogo está bem parecido see, com o Dota. In that midline. Yeah, Graf that's um, part of the symmetry, actually. So, okay. in order the way we want to make the jungle, we have to put a slight bend in it. Um, I guess we could have made it straight, but... Eles the estão the falando que esperam que a galera fique mais nas lanes e que limpe os camps e os ganks são yeah, so they're, they're, it's the Mas é o que o jogo tem que ser, né? So ah, the left mais side fechado? Right side of the mid lane tem que ser a jungle, tem que ser fechado. Fields, Não pode ser uma jungle aberta, igual a atual jungle, jungle né? Sure. Other side's a little easier to ward. We don't have the geometry quite the same. So the, between left and right you'll have differences, but not between order and chaos. Cool. So there's no should be any real advantage to an extent of having red. Galera vai pensar duas vezes antes de entrar na jungle para roubar buff ou para ir gankar o adversário. This nice symmetrical side between both sides, so we get rid of that as well as, you know, the extra Eles não estão com tudo no máximo, Camargo. Eles não estão com a Yeah, exactly. So on não tá ligado. Both sides. You can see that the the red kind of goes up to the rocks and stuff, and it's kind of split in the middle. But we still needed to preserve that there's a wall there. Um, but you can see the harpy's nest um, and stuff on the other side. So I, you know, I don't 
Hopefully it's not confusing anyone that it's uh, RBC. Curtiu o mapa? No, Até agora great. sim. We've, uh, we're working Aparecendo o Hots também. O Hots também parece com o Dota. Depende do mapa, claro. Tem os mapas que eu vi isso do Hots. Tem um monte de coisa. Mas parece que é muito legal. Oh, yeah. We're trying to give it kind of like a River Styx, like Souls field That's kind of cool. um, feeling. So we're still working on that, getting that to be to the final um, artistic design. Mas é legal, porque eles estão fazendo isso em Dota. 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 Eles estão a vigia mostra como se não tivesse neva. Sim, a vigia. Não. Você vai entrar ali. Como que eu posso explicar? É... Não, a vigia não vai. Eu acredito que não, cara. Vamos ver se ele vai colocar uma vigia ali, porque a vigia não pode liberar neva, entendeu? A vigia só mostra no mapa. Ela não tem nenhum aspecto é, visual dentro da partida em si. Seria muito bugado isso, você colocar uma vigia que iluminasse a área ali para você andar ali, como se fosse uma lanterna. Então, uma coisa que Fog of War é um em Smite e similares jogos, onde os personagens de certa range não são visíveis. Even if they could be directly visible to you, they will fade away. Sure. Um, that depends on enemy vision or allied vision or having a ward. So the fact that this Odin is going to disappear when we get too far away, That's fog of that is fog of war. Right. The, the atmospheric jungle fog has nothing to do with that. Gotcha. It's, it's there. It's there to look nice. It's there to help uh, convey about. You can see the fog gets a lot denser we'll around the place than in video, but they are not mm -hmm. the two same concepts. Okay. So people asking me questions like, if I place a ward, does the fog go away? Será, cara? No, sure. The fog stays. stays. If you if you alt Uh, up in the air, which, um, não esconde muito o adversário, a, a neva, cara, mas a neva é algo que intimida, entendeu? E se você tivesse uma visão de ward, ele ainda ia ser assim. Você ia apenas ter a melhor visão dos seus inimigos através do highlight e UI, se você tivesse uma visão real, do que se você estivesse olhando. So basically, what you're saying is we've always had fog of war in the game. Correct. We've just had an atmosphere of fog to the game right. now. Right, and we are not changing the, the way fog of okay. war works. Okay. Cool. And so Christian can probably speak a little bit more just about the fog itself artistically. Yeah, I mean that was when I remember like it was just strictly for visuals and yeah. stuff. And I remember when. Uma coisa que eles podiam adicionar no jogo é se alguém quitar da partida, automaticamente um bot tomasse conta do personagem do cara e jogasse para ele. Não é a melhor opção, né? Tipo, a melhor opção seria o cara voltar pra jogar, mas ajudaria pra caramba, né? O cara saiu, o bot assume, e aí eles colocam uma inteligência no bot que seja razoável, né? E aí o bot fica ali, pelo menos, segurando a lane. Você, igual no Hot, se você clica nele, ele te segue, te ajuda a fazer as coisas. Porque é muito ruim quando o cara quita, velho. With this one, yeah, and for performance reasons and stuff. So, the bot ia fidar. Não, no hots não é assim, cara. No hots, no hots, você perde o cara, o bot assume o lugar e você começa a mandar comandos pro bot. Você pode mandar o comando pro bot te ajudar a atacar. Pode mandar o comando pro bot ficar na lane. No real balance changes, except all, so all jungle camps and all lane minions are having some health and protections and scaling. All of that tweaked a bit. Um, so you'll notice that. Uh, this is the man's core is returned. Hmm. And as you see, we did some cool things we'll where the, the, the buff holder has the uh, the wings and his little... Tem bot que é melhor que o player. <laughs> so, you know, the man's é core, he's a well-known character in Smite. Aí você pode kickar o cara, tá ligado? Porque ele tem um bot assumir. He seemed like a good, aggressive monster to be the guardian of the red buff camp. And it fits kind of well in the area as well, Christian. With the... Cinco with anos depois, eles perceberam que eles precisavam fazer um mapa legal pro Smite. That is all, whatever. What is that? It's it's a dragon of some sort. Demorou mas chegou né galera. Finalmente Smite vai ter o devido respeito que ele merece. Pelo menos tem um mapa legal né. Balanceamento de personagens é outra história. He would just like eat and just throw the bones away and stuff. So we just wanted this kind of really cool beast and we were looking up some lore and dragons are briefly mentioned in in Greek mythology and stuff. So they actually are. And so we were like let's let's kind of tie that in. So, the law is good to go. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, we try to really draw on lore on the whole map. So you know, all of these creatures of Greek mythology and the Titans and everything, we're, we're, and the locations are all trying to draw a little bit more from the lore than we had previously. Let's have a look at the purple buff then as well, as we're on this side of the map near the dual lane now. Oh yeah. What are they? They are chimeras. So you've got a lion head, a goat head, and a snake tail. Um, and we this thought this was a cool one. Chimera, muito louco aqui, ó. 
this actually does have a balance change. So the two buffs that have balance changes are purple and yellow. Oh. So yellow speed buff is taking down a little bit of percentage of speed. Okay. It's really powerful in the new map, so we're taking it from 20 down to 15. And this buff is also going to keep its flat um, production reduction, but it's also going to have a percentage base oh. added to it. So it's going to scale better into the late game. Well, a lot of people were claiming that, and we've seen before, that this buff was not as highly valued in the late game, so now it will be. That makes sense. Okay. Not it's to mention, this is not Cerberus. No, it's not. <laughs> He's only got two heads. Yeah, I know. But everyone was like, oh, Cerberus is a camp or something like that. It's not the same. Not That's the same. same. So for visually, what we wanted to um, put for the Chimeras is that it was kind of a twisted, gnarly Só que eu acho o seguinte, né? Eles vão reformular a conquista, vai reformular a arena. So thinking, you know, Tem que reformular os outros mapas so também. Deixar no mesmo so estilo. Poisonous mushrooms. Bonitinho. Com várias coisas legais. Torn apart this uh, Greek architecture and stuff. E aí, extintos, um, beleza? Yeah, I mean, that's basically, and we wanted to make sure that all the corners and stuff that you Ciclops see, like, foram demitidos, be ah, pois, tava cansado de apanhar ali, né? Cinco anos para eles melhorarem o um mapa. É só esperar mais cinco para arrumar o um balanceamento dos personagens. Até lá, até lá, né? Capaz de surgir um MOBA 3D e ganhar o público do Smite. E bom, beleza? Hum! This gives your jungler Sabe o que eu achei legal? O mapa agora, não sei se vocês perceberam a mesma coisa que eu percebi. O mapa agora tem algo acima do personagem. Você entrava, você via aquela parede que era pela metade. E não tinha nada que encobrisse a sua visão em cima. Agora tem né, as estruturas ali, tipo, essas árvores estão mais altas. A, a não, parede não, tem listen, parte listen, dela que é mais alta, tem algumas outras coisas ali. Isso é legal, cara, porque isso daí vai trazer dificuldade para as pessoas. Porque antigamente você jogava despreocupado, pô, não vi um cara pulando ali. Agora não, pode vir um Thanos voando, pode vir um Thor do céu, você nem vai perceber, vai ser legal pra caramba. Pressão mil, o mapa está maior. Está maior sim, 20% maior. O que você acha de um mapa exclusivo para o X1? Tem que ser uma arena pequena, tipo, como se fosse um quem caísse. Vai ser igual a arena que vai ser agora. Vai ser se o cara cair lá embaixo morre. Tinha que ser assim, X1. Ele vai destruir torre e não está com nada. Sim, então, por clareza, nós queríamos estar onde, não importa qual direção você olha, você pode dizer, ok, não tem nada. I don't see those cliffs and stuff yep. that are rising up, so you know that which side it's going to be on. And also, we really just want to show the depth of this é. chasm and that it goes off infinitely. Que ainda into, não é um buff the, uh, nesses personagens que tem escape assim, assim né, really ou que tem um engage dessa forma. Uh, just show kind of the destructive nature of this of the whole Ragnarok. Absolutely amazing. Did you like the whole thing? No, just showed the concept of it. Look at this structure. Before, there was no such thing as a gigantic thing. The map is the biggest thing. Man, who is going to want to invade here in this red line? So, let's start with Golf Yuri first, because I did see those oracles behind you. But my oh my, does she look a little bit more regal and dangerous this time? Oh yeah, so very different art style and environment style for the Gold Fury. A lot more creepy, demonic, evil. Um, we're basing it actually off the Greek Furies characters, which are actual characters, and they're they're known to be part of the demon. And they're from like a section of the underworld, um, so they're really not as much to describe as harpies, which we had before. So we were really excited. Vamos mostrar o mapa novo da arena? Não, não sei, cara. Acho que não, não vai não. Eles devem, pode mostrar alguma imagem, algum spoiler assim, mas acho que não vai mostrar o mapa novo não. Of course, and we wanted to put gold everywhere, so you know which camp you're at. As far as balance changes go, uh, we did do some slight tweaks to the gold fury stats and to the gold um, earned over time scaling. Uh, the big feature in the whole Season 5 map is that everything on the map is going to scale over time. Okay. So minion, lane minions are going to be worth more in experience and gold over time. Jungle camps are going to be worth more in experience and gold over time. This gives us a lot more uh, fine-tuning to do as far as the balance and the pacing and the snowball factor. So what that allowed us to do was kind of slow down Finalmente the game a little bit um camp, and then ramp up in the middle of the game so that everything can be a lot more. Uh, it's working well, out really well because we're really excited about the reason that we're really excited about it. Se você quiser reportar ele pra mim, você manda as provas no meu Facebook. Yeah, this is one of our favorite faces that we got to design. So, you know, when we were looking up the Gold Fury and stuff, and we wanted to give this kind of, like he said, like a different part of the underworld. And so we wanted to, we wanted to capture that. Esse patch será o próximo ou só a apresentação? Sim, esse patch será o próximo que deve entrar a partir do dia 30. Vamos arredondar pro ano que vem, no mês que vem. Continuously collected gold, 
and uh, that statue in the back is kind of a, a, the idea that someone maybe worship uh, this person, but wasn't sure what that go for you look like and stuff so it's kind of like the human-esque version it's a, a real slight nod to the gold fury and and uh and behind it for the oracles uh we have this actual like uh, pit that which where the oracles come from kind ah. of like yeah it's 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 one of the few spaces that we have like a space that goes down usually most of the time we build up essa semana agora é season 5 a partir do dia 30 that's the oracles for you guys so it's still the same sort of thing as what oracles used yep, to do you kill both of them you get vision of the area um it'll move the ward towards the center of the area so you can see the whole area okay. when, you, when you kill them but the same team has to secure both to get that Just bonus okay. but you can split them and then neither people get the ward and um they've got their own radius they've now? got their own radius yeah, yeah so i mean Putting them in the same radius we thought was kind of interesting and it has Galera, like, o jogo vai ficar mais leve. Galera, o jogo vai ficar pesado, não vai. Galera, o jogo vai ficar pesado, não vai. Galera, o jogo vai ficar pesado, não vai. Salve, Fred. Nós we, we really wanted to fix that. Nós vamos fazer a borda nova da liga, não sei, cara. We, we just moved them over here across the O jogo vai ficar mais leve, as texturas, olha só como as texturas estão simples. We'll be able to see this uh diferente do Smite de atual. O mapa vai carregar menos elementos. Oh yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff like that. Enquanto você so tá caminhando both, both aqui, ó, você só precisa renderizar essa área da frente aqui, ó. Oh, Eles estão fazendo vários truques para poder deixar o mapa mais leve. What's really cool here is the floor radiating the energy. Você só vai renderizar aquilo que você tá vendo praticamente, então Fica tranquilo, o mapa vai ficar mais leve. Acredita em mim. E aí, Jack Wolf? Pawn can remember the commands. He spawned an old minions, <laughs> which yeah, we, we, we talked about before. He's like, what are they called now? It's okay, Pawn. You're still the best. <laughs> But you see that the floor didn't light up. Now you've got the... the, 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 the uh, os PPs são os pontos de profecia são well para você ganhar prêmios no ticket. O ticket da temporada você vai pegando pontos de profecia e vai ganhando prêmios, cara. Não, eles são muito diferentes. E isso foi uma das coisas que nós disse desde o início, que nós queríamos fazer as torres extremamente diferentes. Ah, eles modificaram a torre, ó, palmas. Essa mudança eu tô... Anos pedindo essa mudança. So like this one, the chaos one has the dragon. The other, the other one has the dragon. A torre. And uh, this one's more. And also they have different uh, color choices. So this is mostly, um, you know, the gray rock with the silver dragon on top. Vai ajudar pra caramba, né? O dano vai aumentar. Their their towers are quite different from each other. Much the whole theme of the map, the different sides are more different from each other artistically than they ever have. Oh yeah, you can see um, that one clearly. Não, ele tá zoando, né? Part of the chaos side jungle it just looks like a slightly darker version, slightly shadowed version of the order side. Now it's Essa modificação é só na conquista, sim, por enquanto sim, esse mapa é só da conquista. with a nice regal griffin up on top instead of the dragon. And it's the only thing that you see. Agora quero ver o Hercules me dar level 3. Vai ser level 5. That's the time in level 3. And it's also just to, you know, for more visual clarity, it's like, all right, I understand that that's a tower. Um, cause like right now in the current one, I was like, like he says, just mostly in shadow. Vou baixar o PTS quando o período de teste acabar, eu vou ter que baixar o Smite novamente? Não, PTS é um, o Smite é outro. Nice new pretty bird. Um, we gave them a little bit more of a traditional Phoenix style. Uh, the last year's conquests had a, you know, very an interesting art style, but a lot of people didn't think they looked as much like Phoenixes. Um, they just looked like birds. So now we have a lot more like energy and power in their, in their, uh, whole material, whole texture. Um, And we've also got some interesting tech to go along. Os hackers do Smite são gêmeos, tá aí a prova. If you kill them now, the pedestal closes up, and you can see the fuse. Keep going. We're gonna break out the, and we broke. We saw a fuse go to the Titan space. Aumentaram o dano das estruturas. Aparentemente sim, não só o dano das estruturas aumentaram como o dano é aplicado, né? Que é o mais importante. Ele, eu não sei se eles vão colocar, mas deveria dar um buff de defesa para quem estivesse debaixo dela. Nem que seja tipo aumenta 10 de defesa para quem está embaixo. Isso é uma coisa que vai ser muito mais importante para quem está embaixo. Isso é uma coisa que vai ser muito mais importante para quem está embaixo. Eu não sei se vocês têm a mesma visão que eu tenho. O dive, quando você dá o dive no seu adversário, é um ato de muita coragem, né? E tem que ser uma jogada muito bem executada. Porque o dive é você estar tá indo numa desvantagem para poder pegar o seu adversário. E aí você ter um adversário que consegue ter um pouco mais de resistência debaixo dessa torre, impediria do cara, tipo, level 10 entrar debaixo da torre para pegar o cara, como acontece hoje em dia. A lot of sharp angles and 
very aggressive looking. Mas my two dive é uma coisa comum, tipo, qualquer um dive à toa e qualquer um dive à fênix e fica por isso mesmo. Oh, this is really cool. I want to be in it. Não tá tendo mais para baixar o pack de vozes mais, tem um tutorial no canal, cara, mas não tem muito really cool like giant Hades's kingdom in the background, which looks awesome. And I love the effects. Se a torre tivesse um pequeno roubo de vida, a torre roubar a vida. Really cool. And you can see the bridge going all the way back. We we stopped there and looked. Gostou da minha ideia? Qual a ideia, Marechal? Who is a very new style? He's a lot more different from the other Titans. He's uh, kind of based loosely on the character Cronus, the original um, like bad guy Titan who led the Titans in a war against the gods and was locked away in the other. Agora a gente tem que pensar duas vezes para poder rotacionar. Mas sempre foi assim. Os mais que estavam ligados, desgraçados. Começou agora o patch notes? Não, já tem meia hora. Chop chop. He's got it. He's got the hacks. There was that. Se eles aumentam um pouco o volume da sua live, a minha live não tem como aumentar o volume não, cara. Você tem que aumentar no seu player. Como assim da minha live? Da live que eu tô assistindo deles? Replaces the portal demon. A lot of design changes here. O meu volume. Objective. We really liked having this new objective. That was really fun throughout season four. But we wanted to give it a little bit more ability to fine tune. So instead of when you kill this, instead of getting a portal, you will not get a portal. Instead, you will get a buff that translates back to your base. You'll see a fireball fly across the map and go to your base. Okay. And what that does is it'll buff your base to the point where when anyone leaves the base, you will get a movement speed buff. Oh, so kind of like old Swiftwing. Yeah. So kind of like you give your whole team Swiftwing buff. No. And what's cool about that is. We can give the players a lot more flexibility in how they apply the buff. So now no, you don't have to go right back to Fire Giant. You can right. use this buff to rotate to other parts of the map. You can use it to defend your towers. If you're dead and this your team gets the buff, will you still get the buff when you spawn? It only c triggers when you walk out of the base. Cool. So, so the buff, you don't you, yeah, you can come back anytime and still use that. Um, and it also gives the designers, it gives us a little bit more things to work with throughout the year. So if we think the buff is too strong, too weak, we can increase its duration or its speed amount. Da the we really only had like duration. We had one number to tweak. Da buffzinho de velocidade ali. Christian, obviously on design of this, I guess you got a bit more free reign of like we're putting a buff in, it's gonna do this. Sobe da OB66, será só correção de bug. Tomara que eles melhorem o Kitikeiro, Keior. Depois eu até posso voltar a jogar. Vamos ver. Sort of other pantheons and stuff. And then when we were talking about Ragnarok, you know, we thought, oh, this would be great to get the Celtic in there and stuff. So you can see some like Norris. Podia não dar aí de lava como fazia antigamente. Vamos ver se ele vai fazer isso. Seu face é sírio jogador? Não, exclamação Facebook, Lipinho, se mandar. And then this cool like the wooden dragons and stuff and. You know, with the pyromancer and stuff, I don't know if you can tell what's it, what's in there in the back. Beleza, Sukai. É tão sensual ver tomar a fuzil. Rest in peace. Já tá desse jeito, já tá se libertando assim. Nice little shout out to him. Chains are broken. Cuidado. He's melted. Yeah, but the idea is like, you know, maybe the pyromancer took out, took it out, but. Deveria bufar o Kong. Ragnarok and how it relates to the whole story, right? Ragnarok is happening. This is our core story. Hell and Fenrir. They got this whole thing started. They're ending the world. Lots of people are dying. That's a global event. So that global event is what's killing a lot of mortals. That's what's powering up Hades to bring up his underworld. But it's also Ragnarok. There's you know there's fire raining and there's parts of Ragnarok happening everywhere. That's why there's a Norse character on the Greek map, the fire giant. He came from Ragnarok. Com os gráficos estão mais catonizados, vai ser mais leve para rodar, né? Fala aí, não só isso. Eles estão aplicando algumas técnicas ali de renderização no jogo. Ele tem alguns novos ataques, então ele ainda tem o seu rift. A mudança preferida até agora. Não se mexe em pump pump. Ah, não vai inundar de lado. Mas ele também tem um novo ataque, onde ele chama um monte de orbes no ar, e eles disparam. O gigante antigo jogava muita lava ali. Então, se você tentar o solo, esse ataque hurts muito mal. Se o seu time está lá, você está bem. Oh, this is how he spawns in. There's a big fireball that comes down. Oh, really? He just flies in like a fireball. That's dope. Well, imagine we're not there right now. Imagine Pond's cheating, so he'll crash in like that, and then he'll show up. So you can actually see that. Now there's two. Can you see that across the map? Say, with your lane, you can look across and see this star slowly. Gigante de vida. Oh, gigante de vida. Gigante de fogo tem mais vida que o Titã. His whole leash radius on fire, and if you try to cross in around. Cara, não reparei na vida do Titã ali, mas gigante de fogo tem 13 mil. So yeah, the lore impact is really the most important thing here. And then of course, diminui o volume da live deles. Okay. All in all, this map looks amazing. Any final thoughts before we move on from the map? I mean, I think we covered everything. I um, we're gonna, you know, we're going today. Que dia vai ser esse mapa? A partir do dia 30, se eu não me engano, ao menos que eles mudaram a data. Sim, já mostrou as skins e o vídeo está lá no canal, Agdata.
I am not manually reading through every single <laughs> you, number you change even, of experience, you can't even goal changes. It on the pages. But they're all will be for you guys to look at through at home and then debate over whether this number should be higher, lower, or exactly. Então tava com 10, I would really encourage you to play the match and play. There's yeah. a lot of things that's much harder to just calculate things sure. in your head. There's a lot of things that's much harder to just calculate things in your head. Um, but the, the main goals of this map were, of course, to take the art to the new level with which Christian and his team and the character team. I think we're going to go back to the We wanted to just affect the core. Volta, volta, uma oportunidade interessante. Through those uh, kind of changes to balance. Ah, sim, entendi, Marechal, entendi. Eu achei bacana, cara. Achei bacana. 